Good morning, Mandalay. We're up kind of early to catch a 30 minute tuk tuk ride to Eubane Bridge. How's it looking? Halfway there, thanks. We don't have a whole lot of time there this morning, but I am excited to watch the city wake up. This is the oldest teakwood bridge in the world. Made out of the remains of the royal palace, our tuk-tuk driver has offered to wait for us for an hour and take us back for the same price that he charged to get us here. We're gonna go ahead and get on the bridge. This area is absolutely beautiful. The sun's coming up. I cannot comprehend how this kind of beauty is even possible. This place is so unique. I don't even, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to think. We kind of wish we had canceled all of Thailand and just done this. <laughs> wow. Usually our inspiration comes from a photo or a series of photos that we see or a cheap flight <laughs> or a cheap flight We have a list of countries that we love because of a particular scene a particular style a particular landscape That we think is absolutely beautiful and we want to capture And we have a list of those countries and then we watch for cheap flights and then the cheap flights won't make the final decision <laughs> the photo that brought us to Myanmar. It was basically all of the photos of the hot air balloons rising at sunrise in Bagan. Inspired us to come here. I had no idea that the thing I would fall in love with here is the people. This is a place that's just frozen in time and unlike anywhere that I've ever been, and uh, Justin and I really wish we had more time. <laughs> yeah, we need like an extra two days at least here. Two days just, just for, for Mandalay. Yeah, we just want to watch the people and talk to the people and be around the people. It's just... Thailand felt a lot more... It was wonderful, amazing, but it was very tourist-based. Yeah, here it just feels like... I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. I don't know what it is. The battery life on the Sony RX100 isn't the greatest. And I have plenty of spare batteries, but I usually turn it off when I'm not using it uh, just to sort of not run down the battery, but I can't turn it off here. There's too many beautiful, interesting, incredible things that happen, and they happen too fast, so I can't turn it off. I have to leave it on, so I don't miss things. Thank you. 
We can't count, so we just gave him 8,000 chat instead of 5,300 chat. Oops. Let's sit down, let's get food and sit down. Here's breakfast. How is my and Mars coffee, Justin? Thank you so much, this is beautiful. They brought me a chair just for my back. That is it for Mandalay. We are getting a car now. It's going to drive us all the way to Begon, but it, we will stop all the way to see some pretty interesting sights. It might involve a lot of monkey poop. No spoilers, but uh, <laughs> that's the plan. The drive from Mandalay to Begon takes almost four hours. It would have been faster to hop on a 30 minute flight, but we found a driver who was willing to take us off the beaten path and turn a boring four hour drive into a full day adventure. Our drive has taken us along the old road and our driver is really sweet about keeping an eye out for cool pictures. He's letting us sort of hop out of the car and grab some shots when we see something cool. We're just wandering through this little village where our driver dropped us off and we passed some women who were drying leaves and uh, they waved us over, waved us in, they offered us food, <laughs> they showed us what they were doing and how to do it. <laughs> I like. I, <laughs> it's so nice here. Huh? Is that the whole thing? There's a cow over here. You want to see the rump of a giant cattle? Here's a cattle rump for you. This is the village's gas station. Amazing. <laughs> We're stopping at a tea garden to have some tea. Also, banana pancakes seem to be a thing here, so that's probably gonna happen. Oh man, I was really in the mood for tea. I always want tea. This is green tea. Lemon juice and carrot juice. My mom used to love making carrot juice for me. Yeah. What are you having? Is it a soup? Yeah, like a pork. A pork soup, very nice. And you can kind of season it however you want. Yeah, a little bit of noodle in it. Yeah. Maybe a little onion. These are our banana pancakes. It's like a fried dough that has bananas kind of in between it. And then you dip it in sugar. Oh, look at it sparkle with sugar. That's how you deal with a cattle traffic jam. <laughs> Just power through. This is our first little view of Mount Popa. We're gonna be climbing that. It's over 700 steps. Well, this is absolutely one of the most foreign experiences we've ever had. We're going to be climbing over 700 steps to Mount Popa. And there are monkeys everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Gotta watch out for the monkey poop. <laughs>
So what we're seeing up on the, the hill, Justin, yeah. is either that restaurant or that hotel maybe could be a good place to go. There isn't really anything else up there. Climbing up the steps to Mount Popa, probably one of the oddest things I've ever done. <laughs> we're gonna go try and find a spot to watch the sunset. So concludes our first barefoot hike. Our driver gives wipes so that we can clean our feet after that experience, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> we wanted to get a wider view of Mount Popa, and there's a restaurant that has a gorgeous view, only a few minutes drive away, but it's not always open. So, I'm excited to see if we can be here for a minute. They've been so nice about letting us use the view, so we're gonna see if we can get something to drink. Under. It's nice and warm. I got mine warm, Justin got his cold, I think. Is yours cold? Yep. Nice. <laughs> the honey, the it's honey. So, so I'm so happy we found a good spot for sunset. We weren't sure that we were going to be able to get into this restaurant because uh, during the busy season they sometimes restrict who can come in here. And so uh, it's low season right now. There are only a couple of people eating here and we had a drink and enjoyed the sunset and it was the perfect way to end the night. We have an hour drive to Bagan now. Uh, in Bagan we have nice hotel <laughs> and tomorrow morning we should be hopping on some hot air balloons I'm freaking out inside a little bit to be perfectly honest <laughs> we have arrived at our hotel oh, this is beautiful it's huge so this is our hotel there's a mini bar and the mini bar is free and they have refillable water bottles and a basket of fruit <laughs> this bathroom <laughs> Oh my god, wait, the shower though. No. What? Fancy. We are so extra right now. There are umbrellas hanging from the wall of our porch. We found the pool. This is completely extra. Look at that gym. We are tired and have to get up at five in the morning tomorrow. So we ordered room service. We have tomato soup with I could have bread on the side. These were our appetizers, but now they're gonna be our main course. This is fresh river prawn and potato Cheesy cheese potato magic. Something. Wanna try it first. Good or fishy? Good. All right. It's not that strong of a flavor, but it's got a really nice texture because it's so crispy on the it's outside. Like fried mashed potatoes. It's literally fried mashed potatoes. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> we have to be up at like 4.30 tomorrow morning. So, good night! <laughs>